Hi, I'm Wanson Mason for Bad City Beat here in Roseville, where today county officials address the issue of unemployment benefit extensions. Today's press conference is a continuation of the county's efforts. We've had two hearings to focus our attention on the issue of sustained unemployment throughout our community. We all know unemployment affects the most fundamental aspects of our lives. It's at the crux of every challenge we face throughout this region and state. Foreclosures, declining tax bases, food insecurities, and the prospects of creating new jobs and putting people back to work. We provide um, emergency food to uh, 55 food pantries. Um, obviously, one of the largest ones is the Lighthouse Outreach, which we're at today, um, where this event is being held. And um, we are very grateful for Pastor Mel's um, support and what he does in helping us to fulfill our mission of feeding the hungry in Oklahoma County. Well, we do try to help people find jobs, which is very difficult when there aren't any jobs. Uh, we do encourage them, we give them food so they can get, so they can spend money on gas to go out and get jobs of that sort. Uh, we sometimes hear of jobs and we will refer them, uh, sometimes we will encourage them to go to Michigan Works or go to other organizations that, that are helping. For our organization, um, outreach with helping the unemployed certainly is um, when people do call us and they do have that question. I did take a call actually last week from a fellow who um, had uh, applied for unemployment because he had just lost his job as an engineer and he said, you know, I've never been in this position before. I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. So we were able to help him with those um, services, emergency services numbers. And um, we do that all the time just to be able to help people. We, we kind of like connect them with the services with um, what's available and how they can get help. And maybe we even suggest the best times to call, you know, because there's a high demand during the middle of the day. We know that. So we do everything Thing we possibly can to help people um, that are unemployed. Well, I've been unemployed for over a year now too so um, when people come in I kind of feel you know some of their pain or discomforts you know and to have a place like this is really great to have to come and it's not only the food and the donations or anything but it's also to have somebody listen to you uh, pray with you that kind of stuff. Please don't cut off the extension. Absolutely. We need that extension. Our government right. needs to get behind this extension. Right. Because we're going to have an increase. I would say here at the Lighthouse alone, we'll probably have a 30 35% in increase in right. people we're going to help. Right. And uh, the more of these disparaging things that are happening, the more discouraged people are and they drop out of, the, right. out of our society. Our government's going to have to take care of them anyway. Congress at the present time is working on a bill to reestablish the extended unemployment benefits. Uh, the present bill has gone through the House of Representatives and passed uh, right before the 4th of July holiday break for Congress. And so that bill has been sent over to the United States Senate. In times like these, it's good to know that organizations like the Lighthouse Art Center is still making a difference in our community. For Bad City Beat, I'm Wanza Mason.